Should America ban plastic shopping bags? Pre-writing evidence. Here is the rubric. This is how you are going to be graded. Um, we are looking at evidence today, so we're going to look at how to get a 3.0 on the evidence. So to be proficient, the evidence is from two primary sources, from two perspectives, secondary sources as needed, and is credible, clear, accurate, and related to the compelling question, showing understanding of source material and is appropriately cited. Um, all our materials are primary sources. A through F are all primary sources. All you have to do is find your information within the sources. So um, here we are again at our DBQ graphic organizer and essay. And we already wrote our claim. Um, I changed the claim. Um, I would change the claim to make sure that you had it to what you wanted your claim statement to be. Um, so America should or should not ban plastic bags because, and then you had your two reasons written down. So now we're going to look at evidence. So um, reason number one, and once again, I do not want you to copy any of my information. I want you to put this in your own words and do your own writing. Um, so reason number one I put down was banning plastic bags could hurt businesses. Um, do you remember what article that was from? What article did you see that information in? Do you remember? Well, I think it was in document E. It said, should Wichita ban single-use plastic bags? I think this is where I got the information from, or I remember reading something about it, so I think this is where it came from. So let's read it and see. Um, across the U.S., 102 billion plastic bags are thrown away annually. City Councilman Brett Prather said, those bags don't easily break down in landfills, and when they do, they create microplasms that are ingested by fish and birds and ultimately pass on to humans through the food chain. The task force also found that transporting such a high volume of plastic bags to landfills can be costly. Based on their analysis, Wichita could save $309,632 in hauling fees if plastic bags were eliminated. Sheila Rager, Corporate Affairs Manager for Dillon's, told council members that the grocery store chain is in the process of phasing out plastic bags by 2025. Mayor Brandon Whipple said he has concerns about how taking action on plastic bags could disrupt local businesses. My concern with utilizing a legislative tool such as an ordinance is how that interrupts businesses like Kroger. Whipple said, you're already on track to eliminate plastics or severely reduce the amount of plastics by 2025. If we phase uh, pass an ordinance requiring you to do that in three weeks, that's likely going to be an incredible disruptor. And I don't know if that helps the overarching goal here which is to have a responsible path towards reducing plastics without causing confusion or a backlash in the community. Prather said that by the task force count, at least 35 local businesses have already stopped using plastic bags. So I believe that's where it came from. So I would cite the source. So let's go back and look again. So the source is Matthew Kelly, Wichita Eagle newspaper article from February 28, 2023. So I would use the author's last name, which is Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to put uh, parentheses. Okay, I need to put a text box in here. Forgot to do that. Okay, his last name. I'm going to put parentheses, K-E-L-L-Y. And what was the year again? Let's go back and look. The year was 2023. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put the author's last name, which was Kelly, Parenthes in parentheses and our parentheses author's last name comma and then the year which is 2023 okay now i need to um either go to back to that article or a different article and see if i can find a quote so let's see if we can find a quote was there a quote in here that you saw that talked about how it interrupts businesses well um at the bottom, um, near the bottom, it talks about Mayor Brandon Whipple, and he says he has concerns about how taking action on plastic bags could disrupt local businesses. So if you wanted to use that 
um, quote, or you could use something else. I am going to use the one about Mayor Brandon Whipple. And I am going to say that, um, let's see, and I need to put it in parentheses because it's supposed to be exactly the way it was in the document. So Mayor Brandon Whipple um, has concerns about how taking action on plastic bags could disrupt local businesses. Okay, make sure you put your quotation marks, make sure you put your um, your punctuation, make sure you put capital letters where capital letters are supposed to be because it should be directly like it was in the article. And once again, I got it from document E. So I am going to cite the author again and his last name is Kelly and the year was 2023. So I'm going to go back here and I am going to put parentheses Kelly and 2023. Okay, now um, the next thing that you need to do is you need to write what the source says in your own words. I'm not going to do it for you because I don't want you to copy off me. This was just an example. Please don't use what I use. Please use something else. But you need to write what the source says in your own words. Um, you won't be using quotation marks. The thing that you need to know is that write what it says in your own words only ideas that you learned in that document that you chose. So for my example, I used document E, and so I would write something about what I learned in document E. Don't put your own thoughts here. You're only supposed to summarize what you read. So the next thing you're going to do is you are going to move on to the blue document and do the same thing because according to um, the rubric for you to be proficient, you have to have evidence and the evidence is from two relevant primary sources from two perspectives, secondary sources as needed. But our sources in this document or in this DBQ are primary. So, and it has to be credible, clear and accurate and related to a compelling question showing understanding of source material and is appropriate cited. So once again, whatever reason you used all the way back here on your claim statement should be the reason that you are on number two, reason number two here. Once again, you will cite your source um, wherever it came from. Make sure you use the author's comma, author's last name, and the year, and then, a, um, sorry, not a comma. Authors are parentheses, author's last name, comma, year, and then parentheses. Then you'll put your quote in here, wherever you got a quote from. Make sure that it is directly from the article, directly from the document. Make sure you use correct punctuation. Make sure you use capital letters where capital letters are needed and put your information here. Then you'll do the same thing here. And oh yes, you still have to cite your information from the next, um, from the other source. So this quote right here is where you'll cite right here. I'm sorry, it didn't have it there. So let me make sure that I move it so that you will have that there as well. But it should say cite. So you should be able to cite the information. Ooh, sorry, I'm trying to do multiple things here. Um, but you will cite your source again here and it has it on your document. So you just need to make sure that you go in and you cite your source. So it will be cited. Sorry. It's once again, moving things around here. You will cite the source just like you did in the green boxes. You'll do the same thing in blue. So you'll have to cite your source here as well. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is a counterclaim. So you still have to do a counterclaim. So um, the counterclaim gives the other side, but it also explains why the other side is wrong. Um, 
So that will be your yellow box. This is the box that we are currently looking at right now. This is your counterclaim. Um, so I'm going to switch sides here. And I put down, some people say that America should ban plastic bags because they harm the environment. But that is wrong because, and you would finish that sentence. Once again, I'm not going to do it for you. You're going to have to do it yourself. So you need to look back once again at your documents, documents A through F. And you need to find something that goes back along with the fact that um, it shows that plastic bags harm the environment. You are going to cite your source again. So you would put a parentheses, the author's last name, comma, and then you would put the year and then parentheses. You're going to get a quote from one of the articles, one of the documents. You would put a quote here and it would be directly from the article. So that means it would have its punctuation exactly like it was written in the document. Then you are going to explain how this quote proves other people wrong. So you would do that um, right there in your own words, okay? So you would put in your own words why the other people are wrong. Then you would cite once again the source that you got the information from. The source, just like you did with the um, green box and the blue box, you would have to cite the source and state what the source said, the ideas that were in the source, not what your ideas are, but what the ideas were from the source. You're still not putting your own information in yet. Um, so please make sure you do that. And once you are done, then you are done with your evidence for today. If you have any other questions, please make sure to ask your teachers.